Now there is one fatal flaw with order blocks. It's exactly the same with supply and demand. In fact, when I first started using supply and demand, I had this same fatal flaw. Now what is it? It's basically being subjective because each trader is going to mark out the zones differently. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you a technique with how you can combine the use of imbalances, liquidity in the market to find those much higher probability trade setups using this technique. So on the Euro Great British Pound for our time frame, I'm going to actually go through this chart and I'm going to show you how we could have caught a trade here on a 30 minute time frame using a seven get strategy entry and you'll have made a nice profit to this previous low. So to understand all of this, we first need to look at current price, where price has been going. Now we can identify on this move here, let's go closer into price. In fact, let's go up to a daily time frame. You're going to be able to see this a lot easier. So on the daily time frame, we can witness we had this strong move here to the upside. And then we came straight back down. Now this is most probably a news event. And when price came back down here to this previous low, we actually had a break of structure. This shows me a shift in trend and the market has started to continue to make a downwards trend. Now it's not until we see this previous high here broken back to the upside the trend has changed and now we're starting to see a bullish trend. Now of course on the way down here you could be drawing out all your zones of supply and demand and yes you may have caught some good trades but if you're actually using all of these areas on the way down you're most probably going to find a losing trade after losing trade. What's the best way to use an area of supply and demand? Well let's go back to that four hour time frame. And I'll go through exactly how we can read the chart using these techniques I'm going to share in this video. Now, the first thing we need to understand when we see this break of structure here in the market, we see the break of structure to the downside here. We're looking for where the market came from. And we can see this previous swing high was created and we created an area of liquidity in the market at these double low here. So when we have this bounce up, a previous bounce again, we create an area of liquidity. And what that's going to do is understanding this move up where we in fact have a closed through an area of imbalance. Another area of imbalance is closed through and taking that liquidity in the market. We then aim to fill this imbalance. Now we fill that imbalance, we bounce up and we break through to downside. Now, if you're not sure about how to use imbalances and in fact, how you can use this one line hack, then don't worry because there'll be a video coming up soon for you to understand how to use the imbalances as well. But once we see the break of structure here, we're looking for where that market came from. And this is the next lower high, which we see the momentum move to downside. And it's inside this area we can identify areas of imbalance. Now imbalance is where you can see the space left over in the market. There is some great videos in this channel which goes through understanding the imbalance and how to draw them and how to trade them. I will leave a card above now for you to go and watch that if you're not sure what imbalances are. Now when we see this area of imbalance left over, this is where I want to see the market come back into. And when we actually see the market pulling back up here, creating this lower high, what that actually does, we just draw out an imbalance quickly, that comes back into this area of imbalance and then drops away. Now that is a different way of looking to take a trade, understanding that the market had created this trend line here of liquidity in the market. We then knew the market would want to take this high into an area of imbalance or supply. Now what actually happened, it took these highs here into an area of imbalance and then we dropped back to the downside, breaking this structure once again and that creates a continuation with the trend. Now we have this area of supply that we can mark out on our charts. It's an area I want to see the market go up to fill the rest of this imbalance enter into this zone for potential trade. So we have a great opportunity now to know that when the market comes back here, we want to start looking for that change of character. Now, if you're not sure on the change of character, don't worry. There's a card up above now as well. It goes through to the change of character, exactly how you can use that. But we'll go through later in the video exactly how you can use the change of character. Now, the market here will continue to go to the downside. We have another area here looking for the market to break structure once again. And you see the market just breaks through that low and we continue to fall. Now we have this last low in the market lower high should I say and the market eventually breaks through this high. So now we have a shift in trend. 
And we can now notice the market went from that downwards trend to a bullish mode. So the market is still breaking lower. And if you remember, I said about a potential video, we're going to look at areas of imbalances, what are going to be broken. We close this imbalance, which actually indicates price will want to go down here at some point as well to fill this imbalance. Continuation to the downside. The market does go back down for breaking up and we come back to test that imbalance. So the imbalances itself is a great way to understand where the market's going to go. Now, obviously, for an area of demand here as well, we can identify this zone in the market. Whoops, let me just redraw that for you, everyone. So we have this area of demand left over as well, where we could potentially look for a reversal. You can see the market tags that area of demand and then we identify again, the market comes down here. We break structure again here to the upside. So we have a nice strong move to the upside and a continuation up. So now we have not only broken this structure here, we've also broken this area here, which is even more important because that is the high which actually manipulates through these highs. And I'll go through what this was in a moment to then actually come lower in this market. To then break back up. So once we've seen this happening, we now know the market is bullish. But what about this area here? Well, if we remove this breaker structure level, we can actually create that area of liquidity again with these two equal highs. The market wanted to break these highs to go back up to find an area of supply. Here is an area of supply in the market. Now we don't have any imbalance this time. So this is going to be more of a riskier trade to take and we need to look for that reversal out. And here we can actually identify the market came in, we broke back to downside and on this occasion this leaves behind this area of imbalance. So we can then draw out a new zone here. So we can remove this zone, the market breaks, structure pulls back and that's where we start looking for our trades. And in fact, we can actually go down here to a lower time frame looking at trade. But this liquidity here indicates to us that the market wanted to go up higher to find an area to sell from. Now, on a lower time frame here, we're just probably going to find an area of imbalance. And that's how we do it. But we can also wait for that reversal using the change of character. And that's why there is a fatal flaw in your trading if you're using order blocks, because you're looking to mark every single one on your chart. Now, as a supply and demand trader, as myself, we look for the best locations to take those trades. So we just remove this area. Now we have this break of structure here in the market. Here to the upside, we're actually looking for the market now to go up to this area of supply. After we've seen this break of structure, we can start to look potential buy trades. And if we look here as well, we can identify the market creates this area of liquidity, just like we saw over to the left. So what we're looking for now is below this area of liquidity has been created is an area of demand that the market may want to come to. So if we look closely, we can see this area here of imbalance in the market, which is a great area to mark out where we want to see the market come back to fill that imbalance. Now, as well as this liquidity created, we had this area here created as well. So the market came down, we took this liquidity, rally back higher to break out of this high and then we left over this liquidity here the market now the market's come back down once again we can see we break this low of liquidity and we go into this area of demand so once you understand where the market is going to go you're going to start to draw out those best zones remember we're looking for those zones that leave the imbalance behind and has liquidity sitting above it now, the liquidity is basically looking at those swing points in the market or can even be a trend line in the market. So when the market comes into here, we're looking for the market to break structure back to the upside. We break here to the upside and continuation back up again. We drop down and we break out once again. So now the market looks like we're in that bullish trend. We've just bounced off this area of demand and we're starting to create a bullish trend to the upside. Now, we can actually go down to lower time frames here as well and look for a trade, but we're going to look for the market to come back into this area of supply so forward and we see the market comes into the supply zone. That is what we're looking for. That area of imbalance that we saw to the left 
in below this area of supply now we've entered into that zone so the best thing now is we're going to look for that change of character we go down to the lower time frame for that change of character let's just go back yes i know this is in hindsight but you'll find that once you read the markets like this your trading will become much more profitable so when we see the market now going into this area here we're going to look for the break of structure again this is now that area of a change of character now we don't break out until this area and again we'll look for the best zone to trade from now this is the area where we see the market breaking through taking this era structure once again we witnessed we've left over imbalance there as well and we look to the left here we identify that we had this manipulation of this high now what did that manipulate up into this move here to the downside we then broke out so looking at this area we have this swing high to this low where we then see the drop away so i use this as my area to take a trade from and i've actually now look for an entry because we're now in that bearish trend for entry off this zone where would it be targeting well as we see the market here we actually create an area of liquidity so this would be a great area if the market pulled back but it didn't it continued to fall let's go forward we can now identify once again we have this swing low to this area in the market of liquidity so again if we look for a reversal here we'll be targeting this as our first target if we get the market pulling back and the market actually takes this low of liquidity again to mark down looking for our next area continue along the market continues to fall down and all this point we're waiting for the market to come back to this origin of the moat this is the best area to look for a trade so now we have this area here we can see is an area of imbalance which is closed through and what we do actually have as well is this trend line of liquidity left behind and that means what i want to see is the market to break through this trend line we'll come to this in a moment and our target in fact as we've closed through this area here then we'll be looking for next area of imbalance so we just go back to price here and we'll just come back in here in time and we're looking for a clean area of imbalance so we don't have anything here until this era so this in fact will be a great era to target so if we were taking a trade from here this would be a great area to target continue down with the imbalance and that's using the one line technique which you're going to find out in an upcoming video so stay tuned to watch that but if we're watching price at this moment in time let's drag this across the market now continues lower so continue to go lower and we're waiting to see if the market can reverse so now we have a area of liquidity left behind here okay so we made some double lows here in the market and that is broken back down now the market goes for this area we marked now remember we marked this area obviously we'll still look for the market to come back to this area but this does not mean we cannot look for trades on the way down still and we see the market goes for this level does not close it at the moment and there's our move back up now we've seen a break of structure this level still becomes my target but mainly because we can identify that the market is not closed through i'm not going to go for the next lower target until it closes that level what i'm waiting for now is the market to come back to this area and now eventually we get triggered into that trade that's what we're looking for the market comes back and we're triggered into that trade and we can see the market actually drops straight to that target so this is why it's important to understand this one line hack using the imbalance levels for your targets you can see the market here goes straight to that area and we bounced up that's why it's a great target to use now we can also identify in fact right at that target we also have this swing low to this area which created an area of liquidity in the market so that's another reason why we great target there and we can see the market in fact bounced off here and dropped nicely to that final target so we can even actually go into this area and do a change of character once again 
So if we was to look at this area here and just highlight it with this box, we would go down to a one minute time frame here. And understanding the change of character, we would look for a reversal. So this is the area we're looking for, and you look for that change of character. And this is how you can really increase your risk to award. So here we can identify this is our last bullish move up. That becomes our break of structure. And again, now we need to look for that best zone. We're not going to look to use these zones. We're going to look at this origin of the move from this swing high. We can also identify here leftover imbalance. So we then mark off this area of supply for our entry. Let's remove this box. Look at this. And the market then comes back up to fill this imbalance into the supply zone. Now, if you've taken a trade here, and they'll stop above this high. Now our target again, you can target that level we suggested all the way down here. So now we've gone from that risk to war we did have to a 69 risk to war. But I'd also be looking at this area here in the market. This area here where we've got some equal highs. In fact, you can actually identify it's more of a trend line. That will become my first potential target. You want to be taking some profit off the table. You can see that's a great risk reward of a 69 to 1. I'm not suggesting that's what you would have gone for, but this would have definitely been my first potential target, which is a 5 to 1 risk to reward at that area. This is how you can look to compound your account taking profits off the table. Yes, the market does then eventually go all the way down, zoom down, all the way down. Let's keep going to this level. If we go back in time, that's where we saw that liquidity and it's the year of imbalance on the 30 minute. So that's how you can use that change of character to really boost up that risk to award. But understanding the best zones, so you're not going to fall victim to drawing out every zone on your charts. You're looking for that three-step process. You're looking for the origin of the move. You're looking then for that imbalance left over. And you're looking for any kind of liquidity below that imbalance for the market want to go up to fill that imbalance and enter into your supply or looking for the market to go down to fill the imbalance into demand zone. So I hope this video is going to be greatly helpful in your trading. If it has, don't forget to give me a thumbs up because it's going to help me to know you're enjoying this type of content. Now, if you've got any questions on this video today, don't forget you can leave a comment below on this video and I answer every single comment I have on my videos. And popping up right now is that one line hack video I suggested going through and understanding the use of the imbalance levels, how that can help you greatly reading the market direction.